Welcome back, everybody, to Oregon Spring 17 here on Farming Simulator 17. Your host with, eh, not the most, well, maybe not today. Folks, how y'all doing? Mr. Blue here, aka Tommy Miller. We gotta do some planting today. We gotta do some planting. At least I hope we can. Um, our temperature is 41. And get the HUD back up here. And our ground temperature is 41. Uh, the air temperature is 52. And it's like 2:42 in the evening, and we're uh, in the hole big time. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to be out of hole here in a minute. We gotta hurry up and get this tractor back to the the chickens. Yep, so we're going to be loading some pallets into our planter. Uh oh, off a little bit there. Well, yeah, I'm just curious how y'all was doing. I hope y'all doing all right. Uh, oh, that's the only thing I hate about these pallets. After they sit for a while, that is a drop point. That's not supposed to be shown. Look how heavy this pallet is. I got 2,000 liters of water back here and it's still trying to tilt forward. Let's see, I, this thing don't have no way of, well, the planter don't have no way of putting the pipe out. So I'm going to have to just look, raise it over the thing and hope for the best. And see, you ain't supposed to be seeing the white or the blue part from the bottom of the pallet. That kind of makes me wonder. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. See, it just... Maybe I need to put over this part. Huh. I, I, I really don't know, folks. But, uh, let's get in here and see what we can do. Uh, start the engine. What do we have here? So I have no way of swapping the tool. Unfold sewer. I wonder if that's it. Oh, no, no, no. That's that part. Uh, select the seed. Um... You know, we might not be able to use these pallets. We might have to take it around. I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to let that motor warm up. And let's go ahead and raise this back up. I'm going to set it here beside it. Maybe that'll work. Ah, right, there we go. It's got to be right there. Got to be on the ground. Eh, still, it's kind of realistic. Oh, I didn't feel it very much, did it? Actually, be truthful, I don't know how much seeds it's going to take. But I figure we fill the whole thing up and uh, go from there. And next planting season, we'll get us a different planter. Let's see, I need seed, so it's going to be the next back one there. Or not back, but this one right here on the front next to the wall oh come on now I think we got one more there and that'll be it so this one's a uh, 2,000 liters so we'll put that in there 
and let's go from there come on come out of there well we'll just set it right there all right now we're going to take this guy back to back to the chicken nest yeah let's see here we're gonna green green do we not have a Store to farm, farm to store, wood to wood. I was. I guess I didn't save that one. Well, we're gonna have to drive it then. Thought I had something like straw. To sail point or something up here. It won't take that long to get up here. It'll give her time for the tractor to warm up. Uh, we do have a load of uh, board pallets to take off here pretty soon, so we can look forward to that. Uh, field 15 and 14 has been plowed together, in case y'all are new. And. Our tractor has cultivated that and we done sprayed it. So they're ready to plant. Um thing about planting corn on uh, maybe a quarter of it and probably barley and wheat. And then we're gonna have one and three. Uh oh, we left the gate open. Well, we'll take that to our advantage. They're going to need some water. They've been fast forwarding time some. I tried to work on these triggers. And, uh, what I thought was legit. Okay, we're going to let that unload while we're checking. Yes. Our chickens here. Lovely chickens. Uh, I put a straw bale in and that caught that up. So productivity is 100%. Uh, just got through feeding them, uh, what was it, wheat, I believe we had in storage. So an hour and a half, we'll have another chicken. We done got 22 chickens since uh been fast forward in time. Uh, we're going to have to get a bigger, bigger, whoa, almost ran into that, a very, 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 very bigger water tank. This and this ain't cutting it. We almost didn't pull up far enough. But uh, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see back here or not, but I'm going to put this right here, be filling up, shut him off. As you can see, we only got four straw bales left, so we might have to go borrow from the cows. They've been really uh, getting it. Oh, we done shut off. Uh, let's see. I want to plant corn first. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's see what this is going to plant. Uh, we got him set on sugar beets. I forgot about sugar beets. I'm gonna put field 15 in sugar beets. Okay, let's let's go get this tractor here going first. Uh, we do have Colin Julian running our. Uh, oh oh crap! Oh look, I turn around. Can't go out this way. See my trailer's got it blocked. But Colin Julian vlogs. Uh, 
he's a fellow vlogger, friend, brother, uh, you name it, he is that to me. And uh, he gave me a shout out the other day, so I'm going to give him a couple of shout outs. Uh, we need to help him get up there, folks. He's only got 170 subs, or family members, and we need to up that. Ooh, we gotta get rid of that tree. And that tree. Alright, uh, when I'm on corn. So I'm gonna just make a circle where this thing's unfolding. But uh, anyway, Colin Julian's over on field one and three working. And uh, he's cultivating. That way we can spray again. Now, in real life, this thing wouldn't be able to do corn because it's more like a very, very fine grain type drill. Like wheat, barley, something like that. Alright, of course, you know our farm. We all run off of GPS here. But we're not going to have that much corn. Just just enough for the pigs. So let's get our GPS here. Select the size. And of course it's always going to be off. We're going to move it over quite a bit. Probably about there. We're going to rotate this about there. And before we uh we gotta get lined up a little bit better than this. Let's just make another circle around. But uh, yeah, we got into the field work uh, early spring, as you can see up there. And look, well, like we got a lot of rain. Tree. Oh, I thought that tree's gonna throw me off. There it is. Yeah, still gonna have to back up a little bit. I don't see how those guys can work this big old drill. Now there are some out there that's kind of big, but I don't know if it's this big. But then again, there's a lot of things I haven't seen. All right, that's just gonna have to work right there. We gotta get going. All right, turn on, lower down, and take off. We are now planting maize or corn, depending on where y'all at. Get some of that stuff off there. I, I like this drill, but there is, I had a better one. I had one where everything worked on it. And there is a trailer out there. Of course, it's not realistic because it's spraying in front of the trailer. But it kind of makes it so like it's spraying behind his. All right, I'm raise that up. Ooh. We'll go over around this way. Get our ends here. But I, I don't think corn can be planted with an air drill because the seeds are so big but um I, I've just never seen uh, drilled corn before because you know they were very very close rows and uh Around here, corn is planted on, I think, here, 36 or 38 inch rows. Is that right? Maybe it's 28 inch. Something like that. It's wide. It, it's where these tracks can fit down the middle of the, in between the rows of the corn. So it's, it's pretty good size. Get that corner right there. Raise up. And let's back up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The one jackknife. 
Yeah, this is what I did with the trailer. Alright, I can fix this. I wish I had a way of stopping it, like right there. Somewhere. Oh, look, look, I'm flexing my arms. <laughs> yeah, see, it won't take long at all to plant with this planter. Not at all. Raise that. Now we're going to leave a little bit there, but I have to come back and get it. But, um, uh, let's see here. I ain't really got no news to, for y'all or anything. This is, uh, it got really cold last night. This is like the 2nd of April. I, I know my videos are way ahead. So y'all have to excuse that. But uh, We got about, I'd say about 15 more days before farmers are going to start be planting. Uh, rice is already supposed to be planted. Uh, 15th of April they plant cotton. So yeah, farmers, you know, I'm gonna have to be uh, really, really, really busy here pretty soon after all this rain lets up. Well, right, I'm gonna turn that off. And what am I gonna plant next? Um, we got corn. I want to plant barley back behind here. Let's see. That's going to be beans. Let's plant this part uh, canola. Let's switch to canola. Oh, I just passed it. That's it right there. All right. There we go. And I'm going to hire a worker. So we can uh, get into... Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get my truck going down here. Somebody knocked over my cans. Wasn't me, folks. I went in the other driveway and come out. New Holland on sale. Let's check out and see what's on sale. Well, that's going to be probably everything New Holland. Oh, man. I would love to get like a T6 or... Ooh, T8. It's all 10% off on those. 5% off Lamborghini. <laughs> Let's take this on down here, then we're going to get that little tractor there going, planting. Uh, Kyle and Julian should be getting pretty, yeah, but he's about halfway. So I'm just going to park right here. Park the nurse tank here anyway. Alright, park that there. See how he's going to do. Turning around good, so that's all that matters. We got to get our, uh, there's our load of pallet, board pallets. We got two more, and then we'll be ready to take this load off. Uh, let's check these real quick. Almost there. 4,000 will be there. And there's Colin Julian. Going across pretty good. Oh, he's down below a half tank. Alright, here's our tractor that we want. We gotta get some fertilize. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we need to fill up out of that trailer. 
Why about just going across here and build up on them as we go? All right, it's going to be this first one. Oh, we need a seeds too. Okay. I guess it's this first one here that does it all. We needed liquid fertilize. Oh, which is this red one? Okay, well. At least we got the seeds. Oh, now we got double Kyle and Julian working today. I need to get that fixed. Uh, I need to stop. him make one more round and we'll start this planter. This car enjoying is going to town. Alright, let's uh get our ends right here. We're almost out of seeds on this and wow. We're gonna have to get us a, a seed tender too. Wow, we are off on our let's see here, get that back up. I need a scoop. Get over to about there. Okay. Um, do a loopy loop here. GPS back on. Planner back on, and this be our last round of canola. They have a drill that's smaller than this. It's probably I don't know. I, I know probably two sections on each side smaller. And then make the center part there a little bit wider, and you'll have it. But um, let's see, we got corn, canola, sugar beets, uh, soybeans on those two again, and over here might be divided into wheat and barley, something like that. We gotta get a little bit of each crop. Um, I like to get another field, but at the same time, it's a uh, kind of hard to do when you just realize. Um, how's the word? When you uh, just rely, relying, relying on your wood cells to help you out because we still I need to shut that off there's our planter wait let me check on this real quick 
We still got a little ways to go. There's our planner. Oh, I'm gonna run over that sign. Oops. Oops, a daisy. We have ridge markers. No, we do not have ridge markers. And let's see. Let's get our size here. Now this is gonna be kind of rough. I don't think this track planter will overplant the canola, so we won't have to worry about that. Let's see. Pull forward just enough to get that on. And that's what I thought. We we're way off. Let's try that right there. Turn it on. Let down. We're planting sugar beets. And we do not have a ridge marker. Well, just go figure. Just go figure that we don't have a ridge marker. Okay, I need to quit my singing, right? All right, uh, let's see here. Colin Julian still working. Um, fixing to uh, hire a worker. And we got, oh, hey, we got Jesse in the house. All right. Nah, that's a dude that farms every day, folks. He, uh, well, I ain't going to say who he works for. Uh-oh, I'm off just a little. I'm going to have to come back and get that myself. But, uh, I think he's going to do pretty good. Uh, we're waiting for the grass to grow for this guy. There's Colin still going to town. He's almost across there. And I got to... Move this guy out of the way. Now we need a fill of grass badly. But I, I don't really want to plant one of our fields we got now. But uh. Thought about filling one of them up. Excuse me, folks. Started sneezing. Uh, they say holding your sneeze is bad. I wonder if that's true. Something about stunting your growth or something. I don't know. Just popped in my head. I got him ready. Uh, let's check out one planter. Come on, where you at? Oh, he would. Oh, he would. I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to start him on that far side of where... <sighs> I just hope that didn't mess up the canola. Alright, at least that's the end of it. There's something about these planters. You start on the short rows and work to your long rows is I think what they said. Uh, let's see. Wow, that is off, ain't it? Yeah, right, folks, we're going to have to GPS locked on. Yeah, I could use my ridge markers. Probably just one or two rounds I've had to make here. Getting those short rows right here. Raise that up. 
lock back on GPS here. And this might be the last year we use this old red here. I'm going to have to update him. Trade him in for a T6 or something. Or a small John Deere. Seventy six or a seventy eight hundred maybe. Raise up. Right back on GPS. Lower back down. I bet a lot, lot of y'all out there are like, why he got a case on a John Deere planter for? Well, folks, it's part of it. This is a part of it. I think he should be able to take care of himself after this through here. Well, when I get started back on the next through. Not post plant out in the gravel road, but... I'm not really being realistic anyway, so... Definitely going to have to get some seeds. I'm going to hire a worker. Right, we're just going to sit here. Well, let's go see what else we can get ourselves into. I got to get some more logs for that over there. So I'm just going to get him around. I got to get some of these stumps cut. They're in the way. Might be able to squeeze through here. Now, I am going to plant some trees back behind these. I'm just going to get them all out of the way first. And, uh, of course, that would be a future video, y'all know. Alright, we're going to pop back around. All right, it's going the right way. Man, back up, back up, don't let down right there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do some ends. Oh well. Uh, shut that off. I do want to go to here. And, um. Oh, it's 4,000. Oh, I don't have my pallet. Works down here. Folks, please overlook me. Oops. There. Why I come back get the pallet for it? I forgot I had it down there on the uh, thing. So next episode, we're uh, going to finish off with the. Uh, well, I'll let Colin Julian finish this field and go on across the other field. And uh, we're going to let Jason, I forgot, help her Jason down there. Is, uh, oh man, come on, Jason, you're killing me. I'm going to finish planting the sugar beets off the uh, field here. And uh, yeah, we might have to touch up the end so we'll come back, but uh, Hopefully when we get back, we'll start planting. Oh man, did I make a boo-boo? Okay, we can plant sugar beets, okay. Uh, I messed up about the corn though. Dadgummit, I forgot about that. We don't push plant corn till down here. Oh my. The canola is good. Canola should have been good. And the sugar beet's good. But I'm going to have the corn and soybeans. I'm going to have to fast forward to plant the 
soybeans. So that's that's going to have to wait a couple more days. So uh, when we come back, we'll probably be planting soybeans. I'll have it up here. I don't know what the uh, <laughs> corn's going to come out looking like. Only way to know about it is uh, we go to Shenelton's map and find out because it's already planted. Well, folks, I am uh, time to go. You know it. So uh, I'm going to let this guy run a little bit. Get this field here planted. And uh, I got to get my pallet for it. I need to buy another one. Uh, well, I don't have no way. So much in the hole. Uh, where is he? Which I can cut a load of logs and get out. Hold pretty good. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right, folks. I am going to give the chicken some more water. Actually, I'm gonna keep this quarter in here until I get done with those pork pallets. It'll help. But I'm gonna go uh, get that truck ready for the next episode, and I will see y'all later. Okay. Y'all have a, a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all tomorrow.